hi guys today we'll be talking about installing python by python and we'll make our first by python program which will be the shortest easiest and will be one of the most useful uh, tools that we'll be learning so so for by python i uh, for python i highly recommend you guys to install python from canopy uh, which you can get, get through like ianthought.com mm. So go to the page and then where you can download uh, the Canopy software, uh, get the Canopy software and then you can install the by Python. install the Python. The good thing about Canopy software is that you can use a number of languages in that one and it's very user friendly and I recommend this for the people who have a .edu mailbox because it, uh, cause it allows you to register for free for one whole year and then you can use uh, the things that will cost you if you are if you don't have a dot edu mailbox so it's free for students basically so follow all the steps and then get get your uh, canopy downloaded so after you download it uh, you uh, open a page uh, this this uh, open a windows something like this one uh, in which if you have to, if you have a dot edu login from that one and and or even make a new one if you don't have uh, uh, registered yet and after doing that uh, after installing the python then you have installed python so to install a by python go to package manager uh, click on that so after clicking on package manager it should open a window something like this and where you can see all the packages you have installed. To install BiPython, you need two pre prerequisite uh, packages, which are NumPy and SciPy, which you can get uh, on the list of free packages. Uh, and it's uh, they are arranged numerically, and you can. Uh, I hope you it won't be hard enough to find those uh, two packages. Those are for free, uh, even though you you if you will not have any .edu mailbox or something like that. So uh, uh, install those two, uh, arrange numerically so it, it won't be hard. So now you go to Canopy Packages and then download BiPython which is on the 4th. So if you do not have a, a .edu uh, mailbox then you, have, you, you cannot download it by Python for free. So after following all these steps uh, you will be ready to go to download the BiPython and install all those softwares it's, it's really cool you can try other packages also if you are an expert on this thing <laughs> uh, so after downloading that uh, click on editor uh, after package manager go to editor which will open a window something like this and or it may not include or some just like that only you can change your view or perspective uh, any way you like uh, I usually prefer this way with all of my history with all my history placed python executes and and the editorial uh, edit edit page also there are a lot of errors out there so just leave that one and uh so uh, uh you can type uh, so for by python we will uh, today start making our soft first by python programming would be to calculate the gc percentage from our sequences and also the thing to remember uh, you have to um, uh, determine which folder you you, are, you will be working on, which I'm saying right there. So I'll be working on uh, that folder. So which I have, uh, I went there because uh, my sequences are on that one. So you can select uh, wherever your sequences are, best uh, best known where you find it easier. Uh, then store them in like program files uh, where you need the administrative uh, authority or something like that. So you can uh, I, will, I, you, I will use that folder because I have that sequence so let's start our first programming so or, or you can you still uh, write the programs uh, on the upper top also like by editing that way but I will use the lower one uh, the Python executable also just to make sure we'll see all the things what we're doing so to begin uh, uh, is there anything I should remember okay so to begin we will have like a uh, import uh, sequence input output functions so from bio import sequence IO so it will import this sequence format so 
we'll call our sequence uh, sequ record sequence record so from sequence record in for sequence record to input sparse is to bring uh, the sequence uh, like a format sequence into the software so I, I'll be using a lip aging so I'll be which is in faster format over there so uh, what we can do is like okay well we can do is like print uh, our our yeah oh, okay we can go like uh, do the print of see what is the sequence ID our uh, what is uh, what is our sequence and what is the length of the sequence also we can we can include that one also and those functions are can be used uh, to uh, to see what we have right now over there so yeah so there it is uh, executed right over there so our sequence is 56 with the following sequence and length uh, blah 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 then uh, okay to calculate the GC percentage we'll import uh, sequence utilities uh, GC the function GC from sequence utilities and uh, it's really easy. You can make your calculations uh, also to calculate the GC percentage without uh, importing that function also. But it's it's a super easy one. So so we will we'll first convert that to string and then see uh, what we'll have, and then there will be our sequences. So uh, uh, I'm just repeating the upper function right over here just to make sure I won't make any mistakes while showing you guys. Uh, so yeah, just uh, just to type GC and then uh, the sequence format. There you go. That's the GC percentage. So you guys are now an expert, which is like, and GC percentage is one of the most required thing while doing experiments on PyPython.